Okay, we're talking uh, today about oak wilt. Oak wilt is a disease that's caused by a fungus that kills uh, uh, live oak trees and red oak trees here in Texas. It is particularly devastating in urban environments where if it gets into a neighborhood, it can move through the neighborhood and through the properties from the one tree to the next through the root systems and ends up uh, sometimes killing all the trees in the neighborhood if nothing is done about it. As I said, oak wilt is caused by a devastate, by a, a fungus, which can be devastating. We have an example right here of a tree that has been uh, killed by the fungus in the past few months, and uh, this is the final stages of the disease. When the fungus gets into a live oak like this, the tree generally takes about three to six months before it dies. That's one of the ways you can recognize oak wilt because uh, 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 the live oaks take quite a while to die compared to one of the red oaks, for example, Spanish oak or blackjack oak, one of those types of trees. Um, those members of the red oak uh, group die within about four to six weeks after you first see symptoms. So when this disease gets into a neighborhood, it gets a lot of attention and indeed can even have a serious economic impact on the property value. Uh, several years ago, back in the late 80s, a study was done in Austin to determine what the economic impact was and it was found out that oak wilt could cause uh, anywhere from 13 to 19 percent uh, loss of the tax appraised property value uh, 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 for the property. So as I said, it's caused by a fungus. It is spread by a beetle into the neighborhood. And uh, the beetle is kind of peculiar for the oak wilt fungus because it needs a fresh wound in order to introduce the, uh, uh, in introduce the fungus into the, into the first tree in a particular neighborhood. So, for example, you might have a pruning wound or some hail damage or a lightning strike during the springtime and the fungus will be introduced into the trees and then from there it will spread from one tree to the next through the root systems. So, and that's pretty much what has happened here. It has moved from my left down through the yard and then towards my right and into the back part of the yard right here and it has killed just about every live oak on the property. So, uh, uh, and this is very typical of what can happen with oak wilt when it is introduced into a new tree and nothing's done about it. Um, there are several things that can be done about it. For example, since it's moving through the root system, we can dig trenches to uh, 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 break up the root system so that the fungus cannot get from one tree to the next. That is uh, uh, one way that's very popular out here that people do to prevent this, what we call tree-to-tree -tree spread of the fungus through the root systems. Other things we can do is to uh, uh, take precautions if trees are wounded. Now, um, trees that are wounded during uh, the, the summertime, when it's very, very hot or it's very, very cold, are generally, it's, it's, it's safe during that time of the year. However, during the springtime, from February 1 through June 1, the, it's a very dangerous period because that's when the beetles are flying around that carry the fungus. It is also when the fungal spores are available for, uh, for spread of this particular pathogen. So during that period, we generally recommend that people cover the wounds with a wound paint if, it hap if they happen to have their trees wounded, again from February 1 through June 1. So putting all those things together, we do have a program that can protect us from oak wilt. However, the first step in disease control is always recognition of the disease. Because if you're going to spend a lot of money to control the disease, then it's important that you make sure that you have the right disease. And there are a lot of other diseases that can kill trees out here that do not require this type of an intensive management program. So, Control always begins with recognition. With oak wilt, I've already mentioned one way we can recognize it. If it gets into a stand of live oaks, it will move from one tree to the next in a very march along fashion and take the trees out. And there are very few other things that will kill trees in that fashion. Another good way to recognize oak wilt is through the foliar symptoms. Now these leaves on this tree have been killed for a while, so they're just brown. However, oak wilt does have very distinct foliar symptoms in the live oak. 
and we've got a lot of publications that are available to, uh, to recognize this, the disease based on the foliar symptoms. There are other measures we can take to recognize the disease. For example, um, we can take samples from the tree and have them sent into the, to the Texas A&M Plant Diagnostic Laboratory. And the, the Plant Diagnostic Laboratory will process the samples and uh, they can inform the homeowner whether or not they have oak wilt by uh, uh, the results of the laboratory analysis. So if we put all these things together then we can come up with the proper diagnosis and then we can make the proper recommendations for control. Now in addition, in addition to trenching in order to break up the root systems, we have a one further thing that can be done, and that is to try to preserve the trees if we know that they are going to be exposed to the oak wilt fungus, particularly through this root transmission uh, from tree to tree. This final disease control measure would be trenching with a with a, a fun, or I mean injection with a fungicide. The fungicide is called Alamo. It is available on the market here in this area, and the trees are treated by literally injecting the fungicide into the root system of the tree so that the fungicide will then move up through the vascular system of the tree and the tree will be protected if no trenching is done and the fungus does get into the root system. If we put all these measures together, the prevention, the trenching, and the injection, we do have a program that we can control this disease if the homeowners are willing to devote the resources it takes to uh, uh, try to manage oak wilt.